Refresh yourselves.
Hi everyone! How are we today? Today we are doing something a little different, a little more fun. We're playing some games. How is everyone? I'm gonna be looking over here because my chat's over here. But the game's over here, so... Someone did redeem... One sippy while I was still on my starting screen, so that one's for you. How is everyone? I'm very excited to play this game again. It's been... According to Steam, it's been about like two years since I played this game. And even then, I didn't get too far into the game, so... Yeah, so I would just love if anyone in the chat could just tell me if these sound levels are good. Like, can you hear the game? Can you hear me? Should one be louder? Should one be not quite so loud? Because I can't really turn either one of them louder. They're, like, both maxed out, technically. But, um, I could turn one lower if one is difficult to hear. <laughs> Oh, ew, are you a bot? No thanks. I was gonna thank you for following, but um, yeah, no, I'm good. Can't hear the game if it's playing music. Uh oh. Well, it says it's on there, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's let's see if I can uh Okay, if I do I'm gonna change up a little volume mixer. Oh goodness. See, it isn't- it isn't muted. It's definitely on there. I'm just using a setting that's maybe not ideal. <laughs> hmm. Oh, like if I- if I turn it up like that, can you- can you now hear it? There it is. Okay, yeah, so it's just the, um... If I turn it to there, like, is it, is it still good? It was just, I guess it was just a little too low. Yes, are we now, are we now in a good spot with this music? Does it sound good? Might be, might be a little bit loud for me as well. Oh my gosh, I also saw my TV, like, on. You barely hear the music, but you can hear the clickies. Yeah, you can hear my clickies, like, really good. I don't know, maybe I'll just, like, turn it way up. I don't need to hear myself talk. <laughs> no, that's good. Okay. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. Perfect. I think. I think we shall get started now. I don't really know how to turn it up higher than it is right now. Like, I don't know if maxing it out is just like A-OK. -okay. But we shall see. I think for now, we will just get into the game. I, yeah, you see my old save file from 2021. Turn it up, open volume mixer, turn the volume for yourself. Oh, maybe. So you don't hurt the bird ears. Yeah, I mean, it's not terribly terribly loud. Yeah, so I think we shall get started with the game. New save. I just want to get a fresh start. It's been so long since I played this game, I don't remember how it works. I barely knew how it worked back then either, so... Ew. It is an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. He's fine. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A 
whole new chapter awaits you ahead. Yeah, so totally not isekai isekai game. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. And you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll so help you sort everything out. Ooh. Just, ooh. What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's go find Jerry. Here I am. Oh yeah, I need to hit the button for everything. And oh my gosh, this game is so pretty. <laughs> Holy sword, I'm a skull! Are you Jerry? Mm. Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, sorry, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? A man told me you'd answer all my questions. Oh, but first, let me ask you. Who are you, and where the sard are we? Um... I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Mm, you're the new graveyard keeper. <laughs> what else do I remember? Let me think. <laughs> I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> See all the sounds. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. <laughs> you know, I think you'll be better if I wait for you here. <laughs> <That's terrible laughs> poor thing. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. <laughs> Something's very wrong with that animal. Hmm. Could be dangerous. What up, donkey? Donkeys of the world unite. You've unlocked a new technology and got a blueprint. Donkeys of the world unite. What does that donkey, mean? Donkey. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. Uh. Bruh. Uh, you, you can understand me. <laughs> Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the cap capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? Comrade Donkey. The bastard pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. I'm pretty sure it'll be fun, and it might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. Pick up corpse. Oh no, I've... I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Sorry I like this place, feels like home. Let's put the body on the autopsy table. Hmm, then what's next? Oh well, yes, slice some flesh from that corpse. Should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure. It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing's right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. Promise you'll tell me how to get home? Maybe you trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And bring the beer to me. Seems simple enough. I've picked up some human flesh and now I know how to make sandwiches and burgers. And baked meat. 
<laughs> That's disgusting. Don't get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Give me that. It's all foggy right now. Here we are, my beautiful graveyard that I shall be keeping. Let's bury it. Mark a site for the grave and dig it up with your shovel. Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Okay. All right, now I have to min-max my grave placement. There's only so much that can be done. Now we just chuck the guy in there. Beautiful. Blah blah. It's a burial certificate. I remember. Money, alcohol. Alcohol, hmm. You sure used to like it a lot. I'm oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Absolute Chad energy walking onto the scene. Why not ask him about the burial certificate? He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. <laughs> Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? I love the way people talk in this game. <laughs> oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. So I have to make this place look not like a mess. We shall see how that goes. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader. I'm a good judge of character. Ha ha. I'm good at everything. That is why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha ha. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every Sunday. <laughs> Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? Part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Haha. <laughs> One tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not the grave. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Haha, uh -huh. fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? <laughs> Good jokes. Blessed and beautiful. I shall laugh. Oh. <laughs> okay, just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Okay. You run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard. You can always craft new ones. Ooh, learning all the, the concept of wood is something I've just learned. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we have all these skill trees. I gotta earn these little currencies, these little points. Get red points from crafting, get green points from like gathering and stuff, and blue points from more spiritual, knowledgeable tasks, research. We shall see. What is in here? Awesome. Oh, no, that's my inventory. to remember how this all works. I straight up <laughs> don't remember how to like set things to my bar. Let's just start, let's start digging up some of these old things. 
got some points for that. And Bishop's looking at himself in the mirror, just like, hmm, lovely. I'm so pretty. My graveyard right now is at negative 22, which is less than ideal, but you know, we love a good fixer-upper. We love a fresh start somewhere new. And so, I like to compare this game a lot to Stardew Valley. Um, one of the main differences, just to start out, is that you don't need to sleep at any certain time of day only need to sleep to get your energy back. So if you're like an, an endless energy making machine, you never really need to sleep. Like there's potions and things and all that kind of stuff that you can get later in the game. It's pretty cool. I've never, I've never quite gotten to the min-max point <laughs> of the game, but definitely take a look at this guy. And I, I just love the way people talk in this game. Look at that. Hey, we're... I'm gonna need to... Inventory management is a thing in this game. And I don't have all the chests I need yet. Oh, let me take more of you. I don't have all the chests I'm gonna need yet to make sure that I don't kind of like overload myself. So... We'll just we'll see how that goes. in town. Oh, guard? Can I talk? Oh, oh, oh. Hold, hold, hold. Can I talk to you? No. no, oh, no. Ah, people are pushing me. No. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told. But how did you know? Oh, and you live as long as I have. You probably learned how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain, Horadric's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about- Oh, I better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Herodric. How can I help you? Came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning to opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. So, let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Uh, about this burial certificate. Bishop told me you can buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. <laughs> we started in modern city, ended in high fantasy. Truckoon really sent us on a trip. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. You tell me where I am, because I really need to get back home. My darling will be so worried. You're at the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows the Earth is flat. True. But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after. Hmm. Never mind. What's the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by the royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. 
Does your meat have a stamp? Uh, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat. But wow, it looks really good. Thanks, I got it off of a body that a donkey gave me. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send it as a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church. But it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I believe he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him in a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every Lady Day. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Trade? Could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold? What a cool, what a name. Dude, where did you get this meat? Panics and graveyard keeper. Southeastern corner of the village. Ah. Alright, give me my money, please. I don't have to. Oh, I can buy onion rings. The teleport, teleport stone is essential. I need that. But I don't have enough money for it yet. But soon, one day, I will be rolling in money. I promise. Give me that money. Alright. And yes, so this game operates on these days of the week in the uh, top left over here. So it's currently Sunday, day of the sun. And it is transitioning into nighttime. I'm not in a good mood, go away. <laughs> Wait, there's a cat over here. Kitty cat, can I? Let me in. I can't, I can't pet the cat. Anyway. Here we are. Is the blacksmith even like awake and alive at this point in the day? Hello there, no world building today? Not today. Today we are gamers. Kinda I think I might want to take my Sundays just to like hang out and explore just games that I haven't been playing in a very long time. And I have already forgotten. Oh, it's southeast, not southwest. Uh -huh. So yeah, today, today we're instead of just taking a little break from things and playing Graveyard Keeper because I've been wanting to play it for <laughs> like actual weeks. And so here we are, picking some flowers. We're exploring this wonderful medieval isekai. <laughs> So yes, I am going to go out on a limb and say this might actually not even be the right house. Yeah, it's this one down here. I it has been too long since I played this game. Hey, what are you staring at? I'm just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Oh, come on, first. Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvold. I'll give him the letter. I have a letter for you from Peradric. Right, of course. One minute away and he can't be bothered to come himself. Yeah, I guess old habits never die. Thank you, sorry for my nagging. It seems it's a new habit. I'm slimed down. Roderick asked me to get rid of him. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind you. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll spare you some of the materials. You should be right up the other side of my house, near the palace. Tutorial for energy. Different actions take up energy. Yes, swinging your sword takes up energy, so combat is a little less forgiving than some similar games we know of. Metal ore, since we're buddies now. You know, I like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some? You can find metal ore in the swamp soil. There's a huge swamp in the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. I can gather swamp iron and create iron ingots. Alright, well. The broken sword and the wet stone. And we. I'll repair it. And look, now it's usable. Lovely. I just, 
Haha, <laughs> I straight up don't remember how to... I don't remember how to set things to my, uh... To my bar. Zombie Goblin 33, hello, welcome, thank you for following. We are playing Medieval Zombie Graveyard Keeper Isekai game. I hope you have fun. Right now I'm just gonna look up something real quick on my phone. Ruggy. <laughs> How to equip items. Oh, okay, no, it's face bar for the sword. Okay, never mind. I'm good. We figured it out. Okay, I can I can open my map by hitting M, but I can't close it by hitting M, so I have to drag my cursor up all the way just to go close it. A little exploration, a little adventure. Is the pond we were talking about? Somehow I don't think this is the right pond. I'm the graveyard keeper. Nice to meet you. If you need some wooden materials, I'll be happy to help you. If you're still in materials, you can visit my brother, Cory. What do you need me? Ooh, I can buy. I think I can buy like wood repair stuff here. Neat. Hello, who are you? Oh, yeah. You're welcome, fella. Ah, oh, I can purchase peat. Very good, very nice. I like. I like the cow models in this game. Look at them, they're so cute. Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? Oh no, sir. The cows are our friends. We're not like those folks from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. Sweating. They think they're smarter than us, but I think they're just barbarians. Yeah, who would eat human meat, right? <laughs> certainly, certainly not I. Okay, there are the slimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, it hit me. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough energy. Oh no, <laughs> I don't have enough energy to swing my sword. All right. We're gonna we're gonna do some quick. We have to make a quick run home to go take a nap real quick. That one time I swung my sword just to check the hotkey was my downfall. Is this just a secret organ harvesting sim? Kind of. <laughs> a little bit. Not only do you harvest the corpses, you also do very questionable things. Well, I wouldn't say too questionable. Well, bury them in your lovely graveyard, but sometimes you also just, like, decide to throw them in the river, because that's funny. Oh, hey, bud. Come here. Where you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. Everyone's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> Everything's legal if you got a stamp, exactly. It's hard, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. I can gather mushrooms, berries, and apples. Wheat! Exactly, I remember baking bread from it. And pies. Mmm, sweet berry pies. I can make dough, pastry dough, and bread. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sorry, you know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get the money. Questions? Yes, can you tell me about the small room? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, yes. Sorry, you smart ass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. That, that is a man that knows exactly what he wants. Is he still technically a man if he's like only a, a brain? Like only a skull? Not even brain. Okay, we're gonna take a little, take a little nap here. I'm just gonna get some of that energy back, some of that health back. Yeah, so, um, like I said, I don't have to sleep through any nights or anything like that. I just need to sleep to get my energy back. 
so refreshed. Oh god, who is that? Spooky ghost. He's not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a keeper. Wow, I've been here for hmm, how long? I'm York. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here. Actually, Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Jerry. Funny. Well, that half-dead skull, that jealous bastard, haha. He can only dream of, of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. You just get rid of him. Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up the corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Hold on, let me investigate my cellar. Oh. What's that sound? It's a man. How horrifying. Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Not my best edgy voice. Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. I need some fancy materials to do that. Let's break up some of these things here. They don't really get me much, but they make it prettier. Oh, I got some nails. That's helpful. There's no weird mushrooms in it. Wouldn't want to end up like grandma. What are you? You're just storage. Recipe for simple and tasty. Learn to create baked mushrooms and baked apples. Now I could really go for a baked apple right now. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Anything else? Okay, we've basically cleared out this area. What are you? It's a good place to work on making my home cozy. Maybe I can finally stop dreaming about this skull. Oh. See, it's been like two years since I've played this game, so I feel like I'm just noticing a lot of different things that weren't here back when I was playing this game before. Like, I... Like, I don't know if this has been here forever. Or if this is, like, a newer thing. I don't know. But in any case, I have to go back and finish killing those slimes. Because my energy bar did me dirty. Updates, people. Updates. <laughs> it's the dead of the night. We shall go kill some slimes, maybe? And everything will be okay. We'll have to... We'll have to remember how making whetstones works. Because having whetstones is absolutely way cheaper than actually going to the blacksmith every time you need a weapon repair. Because that costs some money. Oh, he's not out here right now. Come here, weirdo. Yeah, I literally needed one more hit. And this guy's not gonna be here till morning. I mean, it's like almost morning. Can I just enter your home? No. I have to be your bestest buddy. have to find something else to do. Let me remember what my, uh, what all my buttons do. 
Okay, I think this is how I see all my quests. So yes, my current quests. Graveyard Keeper, that's me. That's you. My quest is I need to get back home to my love. Jerry wants a beer from the tavern. Snake is a guy in my basement, apparently. The bishop wants me to get prettiness five with the graveyard. Donkey is my comrade. This chain hasn't given me anything yet. Yorick wants me to get rid of some guy. <laughs> Wagner wants to be a poet. Kresvold. Well, I've killed his slimes. I just need to wait for him to wake up, I guess. And Herodric wants me to bring him a stamp. Oh, he wants me to come back after delivering the letter, so I guess I can do that until I wait for daylight to come back. This guy should be, like, always here, right? Oh, can I just talk about how much I love this, like, building? And, like, the floor design. It's just... The art in this game is really cool. Hold on. Oh, no, I have to... Okay, I have to finish Kreswold's quest before I can come back and say that I've delivered everything. It's mine in defiance. Alright, we got some rocks. <laughs> Are cabbages? No. Who are you? A little mole? Oh god, you're in my way. And beautify the town in an attempt to make everything more convenient for myself. And look at my timing. Okay, I've defeated the slimes. Good job. Take this whetstone, sharpen your broken tools, and we'll be good as new. I can now create green and red jelly. Beautiful. But yeah, see, whetstones, they're 10 silver apiece. If I can just make my own, that would be ideal. At least I think, I think that's how it works. I think I make my own, but I'm not... Get out of here. Oh, is it a technology to make your own whetstone? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Or maybe building? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It's not a... It's not a right now kind of question. The cookery, meat fiesta. Oh my god, that's the name of that. So yeah, I don't have to decide what exactly I want to do with my time. Oh, there's smithing, there's like tools, tools smithing. No, I don't see it in here that that's a thing I can learn how to learn how to make. But now I can return to the inn at least. Oh, look at this guy. Got the little glasses on and everything. Hello, hello, hello. Gre <laughs> Greeting, villager. Hello, hello, hello. If you have any spare silver, sir, I can offer you some amazing things, tasty and rare. I humbly apologize, but I'm not buying any of your uh, stuff, unless it's something invaluable. And I doubt you can find something like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everyone thinks I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. But I'm from another world, and I need to go back. I understand you also. This world is not mine, either. Oh, thank God. Mine is a world of grandeur. The palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn, so I still have to earn my coins here in this potato onion hell. Boo. Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you with your hiccups. That was a fool thing to do. I just need a little time. That shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. Seems like you're okay now after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. Excuse me, sir. It's good you know how to use a sword. <clears throat> Creswold told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Beer acquired. Hello, who are you? Oh, I can 
I cannot talk to women. I'm sure that's relatable. <laughs> Honestly, I was a fool to even approach my audacity. I love that I can see like all the sets of footsteps along this path. Oh, I, can, oh, I can't grab those yet. I guess they're not edible mushrooms. Jerry. Bottoms up. Take that beer. Oh, what a disappointment. I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging you're from another world. Today, you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern, tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right, I should be more careful. So what was your question? Questions? How do I get back home? Easy. I'm sure you can use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow. The church has a library in its cellar. Maybe the astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. How do you get to the library? Obviously through the church. I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish, this... Sorry, I have no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once... You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. See, now this guy wants wine. He's smart, he's very cheerful, but I don't know personally, I think. His wine was the best. He was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day. Okay. See you later. Oh yes. Oh, can I repair this already? We need to take another little nap real quick. So yeah, now I have a little... I think I need to repair both sides of this. Yeah, like I need to come over here and also do this. So I need some more stone and some more iron parts, which I don't have. I, I gotta go. <laughs> like, what happened? Why must you go? this gravestone real quick. I'm just gonna make it maybe a little nicer. Maybe I'll fix- I'll just use all these up. I'm gonna have to make more anyway, so... No, no real worries. Fixing up some of these graves. I can't actually get in here until I make this place look nice. Can't chop trees yet. I can get rid of this. If I have enough energy. Oh, perfect. I have like just enough. Alright, it's nap time. We have to go take some sleeps. Back home we go. I just, I love the music in this game. and well rested we are getting out of bed just before the dawn so it is fabulously dark outside still now what is my current objective what i want to know is where is the donkey I would have 
have at least one more visit by now. Maybe it just hasn't been the right day for it yet. I thought the donkey only didn't show up on, like, Sunday. Imagine waking up well rested. I literally cannot. <laughs> Wait, am I done here? Why, why was I still hitting it? Okay, that's stuff I can grab. We're just gonna do some resource grabbing. try to stock up on all these yummy foods so that maybe I can have a, a reliable source of energy so I don't have to keep running back to bed. Maybe get some rocks, get some other things. You know, I have to kind of decide which technology trees I just want to kind of go into. I do need a lot of simple iron parts, so I think I might just go for this right now. Of course, I can get other stuff as well. Farming in nature. I'm gonna go tree planting, beekeeping, gather super mushrooms. Except I need some faith to do that, so I can't really actually do that yet. Book writing isn't a thing I can do yet. I need simple gravestones. Yeah, I think I will, because I would like I can't go any further in this tree until I start doing faith stuff and I need to upgrade the graveyard to do faith stuff. So it kinda just makes sense that I'm gonna grab that. Do those slimes over here. I ain't afraid of no slimes. Come here. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Here. Do ya? No problem. Oh, I didn't hit you that time. Alright. That's what we came here for, baby! Iron! I get back to work? Do I need if you're still streaming when I get home? I... If you're going to work, I probably will not still be streaming by then. But, thank you so much for stopping by. And maybe, if you're around on Tuesday, I will see you on my Tuesday stream. Yeah, here's the pro tip, because I can only hold one of these at the same time, but I don't want to come back for the other one. So I just kind of maneuver it around like so. Foot. Foot. And boom, now I have logs. <laughs> More than one. Let me use this. that I kind of just don't need at the moment. Grab that trunk. I'm gonna use my food trunk for all this wheat. And the flour, I guess. A couple mushies. Berry in here, too. Oh, I have two energy potions. I guess I did not know. for berry juice. Mm. Maybe if I can get my hands on berry juice? Apple trees? Oh, it is time for a sippy. JD Watto, thank you so much for popping in. Hello. Are you guys here to assault me again? Or is this just kind of like a little chill stream today?
No. <laughs> You guys need to stop, <laughs> especially now since I have like a sound alert for this. <laughs> Sippy hopping streams. No. It's the quenchiest. I'm just cleaning up my home and I don't have energy for this right now. Hoppin' streams. Oh, the donkey's here. I heard the little dingle dingle. Oh, I'm just gonna wake up. My energy, yeah, my energy bar's not full, but I'm waking up. So I want to go check out that body before it gets all musty. Give me that. See, it's already at 96%. Let's go, bud. Give me your meat. One could argue that's not something you want to like say to a corpse. Or on a moral scale, maybe you don't want to say that about a corpse. Yeah, we okay, we're gonna toss you on the floor so we can make a new gravesite. Beautiful. Corpse didn't respond. Yeah, one one would hope. Most certainly. Alright, and can I make grave stones here? Or is that something I have to do? I think that's something I have to do at like a little workstation outside my house. Not something I can currently do. Um, what does the technology say? Carpenter's workbench and stone cutter. Yeah, I don't think I have either of those things yet. Can I, can I even, like, can I make those things yet? Uh, sawhorse, stone cutter. I can learn how to make a stone cutter, like, right now. Oh, yeah, might as well. Recipe learned. Stone cutter. And if I go make stuff with it, I'm going to get the points back so I can make other things. Do you want? No. The garden one? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yes, yeah, so this is the building place. I can make all of these wonderful things. And I want to make a stone cutter, so I need flitch and nails. Um, I can make nails at a cooking table. That seems. That seems fake. Hello, cooking table. I, mean, I probably just don't even know how to make them. <laughs> that that might be the entire issue that I'm facing right now. Hello, nails. I don't know. We'll we'll get there. Oh, I know. No, I do know how to make nails. We're just gonna go out on a limb and say that maybe it's a lie that we can make nails at the cooking table. But I need the anvil. A wooden anvil, right? I think that's something I saw. It's so relaxing when it's raining in this game. Anyway, wooden anvil. I need wood billets and simple iron parts. But I need a sawhorse to do that. And I don't know how to make a sawhorse. Ah! <laughs> Life is so hard. I guess I'll just keep mining stuff until I'm able get all the points back. It's gonna give me big chunks. No, it isn't. Alright. I've once again made life exceedingly difficult for myself. But it's fine. It has been so long I've forgotten all of the order of operations of this entire game. to listen to.
<laughs> I'm out of space. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, what do I... What do I require to make? Oh, I can already make a sawhorse. Perfect. Beautiful. Now how do I construct it? I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby. Going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry, he'll kill me or worse. Calm down, I'll go distracted. Maybe I'll find something on this hill that'll help me get home. Bro, Jerry told you that Witch Hill is where you need to go. of how this game works. As to your music and sound design accompanied by only the best in NPC voice acting. I, oh my gosh, I love the voices in this game. <laughs> They're just so fun and you can, just like from the sounds that they make, you can kind of guess exactly what they would sound like as actual people. And I'm attempting, at least somewhat, to represent them all with my, with my best quality voice acting. Make my home a home, you know? Ooh, who has come? Brian! Well, hello! Welcome to <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything's happening all at once. Sippy, Raid, hello. How is everyone today? I'm playing Graveyard Keeper today. It's a little oh, there's the alert finally. <laughs> hello, how is everybody doing? Thank you for bringing your viewers over here. How is your stream? Graveyard Keeper today, which is a little different from my usual content, which is just kind of writing and art and world building. So you know what? If you are a fan of fantasy world building, I highly recommend you follow. You stick around. I will have more. I'll have more streams like this. I'll have more streams like that. It's just a fun time. I'm pretty new to streaming, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, everyone! Thank you for thank you for follows. Christopher Rocket, Redbeard Rob, sixty nine, nice. <laughs> Everyone with the rotating fish, hello. <laughs> yeah, it has been two years since I played this game. I absolutely adore it. I think it's fantastic. And so I'm just taking a little opportunity to take a nice little Sunday break from all the productivity I've been part of. And just play some game. Some nice ambiance, lovely music, and questionable morals. Fish are here to spin to help you win. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Thank you so much. I love, I love the fish spin. I finally got my animated emote approved on my channel. It took like several weeks for them to stare at it, I guess. Oh, it's so much fun, I love it. <laughs> now I am trying to remember what exactly my current objective is. Probably some repairs, probably some fixing up and you also wooden. Going two to fix that one. Okay, that's a wooden cross. Okay, I can I can repair this one. It's a wooden marker. So yeah, we are on a quest to keep this graveyard and make it lovely and the Perfect. I need technology. Take that tree out. Send up that one. This area is closed due to cultist activity. And the sippy. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the hydration. <laughs> all of you, all my friends. No, not on my last stream, but on the stream before that. 
you guys know that you, in total, redeemed 47 Hava Sippies in one stream. One sitting. It's, frankly, it's amazing that, there's another one. It's amazing with how little I've actually streamed, like, total. That you guys had enough collective points to redeem that, like, 47 times. It's, <laughs> it's so funny, but I, I appreciate all of you who are in on the antics. You know, the number, the number one spot, at least prior to this stream, I don't know what it's gonna be after this stream. Prior to this stream, the number one spot was held by Mosh Pit Monk at 12 sippies. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to find a way to get myself a little leaderboard of who has been, <laughs> who has been redeemed the most sippies in one, not in one, but just in general. There's a beehive in this tree. It's probably, it's gonna come up at some point, I know that. It's like, it's daytime right now. Ooh, wait, I need to go talk to the astrologer. It's his day. Actually, before I do that, can I harvest apples from these trees? In this tree? In this tree, maybe? A mole? <laughs> no, I guess not. It would have been, would have been quite nice, but I think... I think there are trees, kind of like on the astrologer's path, that I can harvest apples from. Oh, I've played myself. I can't. I can't get around from here. I knew that, and yet I still tried it. All right, so we need to go run over to basically the um, entire other side of the map that I haven't even unlocked yet. I'm like over here. Make a mad dash for the east. And, uh, I should make it in time. Like, I, I've got plenty of walk in time. Let me just distract myself real quick. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And I know what truly matters. What? You think you can understand? No, dig. He won't, because he can't see. Okay. Then I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only things that matter are peace and herbs, and nice, sweet things. No truer words have ever been said. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I will teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. See, Dig, dig knows what life is about. That's the bridge. Oh gosh, I straight up don't remember where I am or where I'm supposed to go. Ah, it's north, right? Like along this beach. Ooh, well, there's a dock. I can go fishing there. Refresh yourselves. <laughs> One more sippy. Ah. Oh. Gosh, I didn't even intro my mug today. Today we have our little. Let the adventure begin mug, which is very fitting for this medieval isekai. <laughs> mm, I smell something tasty and smoky. <laughs> if you were looking for something to read, someone to read your palm, you should go to the town. <laughs> Everyone there is scrambling and <laughs> to earn enough to buy a scrap of bread. It smells so good. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? That's my kebab. <laughs> it's an old family <laughs> recipe. Bring me some good fish fillets and I'll teach you. So I need to go get some fish fillets for this guy. We'll come back to that later. I don't even have a fishing pole yet. You know, I I want to wager that I'm not in the right place. <laughs> and I might have just spent this entire day attempting to go precisely where I'm not supposed to be. More <laughs> sippy. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I had a s <laughs> I had an alert put in for that, so now I can actually know when these are being redeemed and not just kind of have to stare at my chat in order to know. Of course, I do keep looking over, but now you get me in real time. Jesus. I don't actually know if I can... Oh yes, I can. Okay, cool. I knew it. 
There are trees here that I can gather apples from. Now I can make berry juice. Yes, we did make it in time. Hi. Are you the astrologer? I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead-end world. I'm your graveyard keeper. Seems I need your help. Everyone needs something, except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Hmm. Ruminating on my hands. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal, but who cares about that stupid inquisitor's laws? True, dude. Stick it to the man. Talking one? Jerry? He's kind of my friend, and I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any old dead body. A dead body has been delivered to my home. No, me. Holy mackerel, boy! No, no, you look like someone no. who desires to be part of the magic world of fishing. How'd you know? I don't know much about fishing. Me. Lucky you! I know a whole lot about fishing. It's so relaxing, and it can be profitable. Plus, fish are really tasty. Sounds great. I'm in. It's your choice, my boy. I'll t I'll provide you with everything you need and teach you how to cook fish. Can you show me how to do it? Me, no, 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 it's just grill it. No. But first, I like to slice it and fry the slices in oil. Me, and pop fish sticks in your mouth. Ah, you like fish sticks? You didn't even teach me how to create fish sticks. You, you taught me fish nuggets. Me, you know what else? When you eat fish, you start to think like a fish. All good fishermen always eat a lot of fish. Do you have one you can give me? No, no, I do, my boy. No, I have an old me. one. I'm not just handing it over as a gift. I'll ask you to bring me some moths. No, 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 They're good no, as bait. No, no. You can only catch them at night, and I can hardly make out anything when it's dark. I have to go get some buggies for this guy. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm just scouting out the trees that I can grab apples from. No, the oven timers here are kind of annoying, so it could have been that instead. That's okay. As long as the world's not ending, we are all fine. And what is it like? I don't know. I guess <laughs> maybe there's a tell. Like, if there's two apples on the ground, you can pick the apples from the tree. I don't know. I'll figure it out. One day. But for now, what matters is I have apples and I can make berry juice. I can make some nuggets. Did this guy. Come on, honey. Is that, is that what he wanted? Oh, crunchy. Just getting stuck on stuff. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of exploring. I'm just kind of running around because I'm trying to fully understand the lay of the land again. I had it like pretty I had it pretty much like down to at least like a reasonable point back when I was playing this game like two years ago. But two years ago is a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, I, I made Streamlabs moderation a lot friendlier than it used to be. I guess it still doesn't like a. Uh... Oh man, you know I, I should. It's, uh, it's very upset that you're sending a lot of emotes because I guess they take up a lot of um, a lot of characters. I'll have to just have to turn that off. I haven't made much money yet. I don't even have a house. But I can teach you my old family recipe. It's a nice pasta. It'll help keep your stamina while you're working. Fish will not be silenced. 
I, I do not wish to silence the fish. This is a personal failing of mine and I will write it. Refresh yourselves. Ah. Uh, thank you for the sippies. And how long? It is nighttime, so does that mean I can just. I don't remember how to get moths in this game. To be like the dead of night. I could have sworn it was just from like grabbing flowers at night. But that could also just be like completely incorrect. just be one of those things I look up because I most certainly don't know everything about this game. Eats and berries. Well, where, where am I? Where have I gone to? Well, that's the wheat field. I know where that is. The upper wheat field? Yes. And this is the way back home. And we make the long journey back home. And from there we have to... Oh wait, I have a... Oh no, I have a body waiting for me. <laughs> it's gonna be all gross and musty by the time I get home. I also need to take a nap. It's gonna get even mustier. Hey Bishop, what's up? Don't mind me, I'm just sprinting to... Maybe grab his body before you walk by. Ha -ha. At least if I leave it inside, it's not going to get all mushy quite as fast. Oh, hold on. I don't know how to take skulls out of people yet. So I guess I will learn that real quick. Received skull, and you know what? We're gonna take this body. We're just gonna put him into. Put him in the ground. Maybe. I still need to actually make this grave real quick. Eat the berries. Perfect. And thus, we have another burial certificate. Oh. Yes, we're gonna take a little nap. Maybe we'll... Yeah, cause I don't- I'm not really gonna gain anything from talking to the bishop today, cause my... My graveyard is still in complete disarray. It's gonna be next week, probably, in game that we actually have a nice enough graveyard that we can go say, hey, what up? I wanna be a cleric now. Oh man, I, this guy in this game right now is living my dream. <laughs> Just waking up nice and rested, having a good time. I also, okay, so I can't bring I can't bring the skull back to the astrologer right now because he's not going to be there. He's only there on moon day, which has just passed. It is now Sunday. Uh, and so that ghost wanting me to get rid of whoever that is in the bottom right. Certainly ethical. Oh no. 
<laughs> my shovel broke. Alright. Life. Life is hard. But maybe if I just tell me I have enough. No, I'm not even I'm not even close to having enough. Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to make the nice tools in them. I don't have the means by which to create metal ingots. I also can't make tools, I guess. Shovel. Shall I just repair the one I have? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. How do I make a furnace? I think that should be... I need simple iron parts. And I need four flitch. I don't have... Again, I don't have the means by which to create simple iron parts, because I don't have the iron to make the ingots. So I may just have to buy them. Which is annoying and unfortunate, but sometimes sacrifices need to be made for the greater good of society. I should be able should be able to take these certificates. Oh my gosh, but it's like it's already nighttime, so the blacksmith isn't gonna be available for me to buy these parts from. Ah Life is hard. Life, life is life is very hard when you don't plan your actions ahead of time. We're still gonna go over to the inn and sell these burial certificates. Get some money. You know, if we're feeling froggy, we might as well also get the teleportation stone. So that could be fun. We did. Two. Or a nice three silver. You know, I don't actually know how much, um... I don't know how much the metal parts go for. Who is this? Oh, this chain. You better talk to my husband. He's in charge here. What can you give me, though? Fish delicacies. Tasty and healthy. Sweet baking. Pie recipes. Well, one day. instead do with our time. Oh wait, hold on, I think... Wait just one gosh darn minute. I can't get moths because I haven't unlocked that yet. Ooh, okay. Well, let's just get honey because I do need that. And we shall see. Hey, friend. Anyway, I think purchasing that honey perk means that I can go harvest honey from beehives. I seem to remember where I saw that other one. Hey, Bishop, going home already? It is ever a mystery. <laughs> it's very. Oh, is that a, a beehive? Yeah. I think that's me gathering the beehives. Yeah. The bee. The bees stung me up a little bit, but that's fine. Can I do it again? <laughs> I cannot do it again. I might have to find a completely different. Oh, you know, it might be. Okay, yeah, if it, I think if the hive is dripping with honey, that means that's the tell that I can actually go grab it. And yeah, see, it's no longer oozing honey. So, yeah, okay. That is how I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm relearning this game as I play it with everybody, so. 
I apologize if I'm not having too many epic gamer moments. I'm just kind of a little baby, as it turns out. Oh man, those bees stung me real good. Now I have to live with this health bar being above my head for until I sleep, I guess. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith, sir. Mr. Kresvold. I require... I require your services, please. Leave your home. Oh, perfect. How much do you sell simple iron parts for? That's not much. Can I afford four of them? Oh my god, I can <laughs> I can afford exactly four. Perfect. Also, does this this has like infinite uses, right? Yeah, it just has a cooldown. Beautiful. Okay, so. Just need four flitch. Which I should be able to make. Already. Beautiful, beautiful. We have gamed the system, my friends. right now so I can just pop them in here where the wooden sticks and the iron I think everything in here everything in my little home area pulls from this chest so I don't think I need to keep any of it on me oh wait hold on I just took everything out of the trunk instead of putting everything in some jelly. Fantastic. Uh -huh. That is how I put things on my bar. Fantastic and lovely. I just have these little... and my little energy restoration things just available to me. to clear it out, but it says I can't remove it. What's the truth, game? Tell me. Will I find a way later? If I do, it's just gonna send all this water down. Which I may not know much. It seems like that wouldn't be ideal.
something. Surely I can find a way to get three red points. Here's one. Eat this jelly and I will feel instantly better. You know what, even if I'm not too ready for you yet, I'm gonna put you inside so you don't... so you don't stay gross. red points. I need rocks. Do I gather clay from? Can't do that yet though. So I just need one more point. Yeah, there we go. To learn how to take people's blood and fat. Actually makes my bodies a little bit less offensive to the graveyard. <laughs> body has zero red skulls. It means it can contribute more happy niceness to my lovely little graveyard. You know what? I have a perfect grave for you, buddy, because this one's about to be vacant. More refreshies? Oh. Ah. Wait, hold on. Give me the correct corpse, thanks. with you. like to very ethically dispose of a body. There we go. Bye! I'm just watch him float all the way down. What do you think you're doing here? You just asked me to get rid of this body. Oh now you're just gonna do everything he asks? It's not like he knew anything to you. He's disembodied. Because I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course I'd never do anything like that. Just for friends. But you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Remember that river? The river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. We're gonna burn it. Hey, you need a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Each important character who the graveyard keeper meets will appear on the character's screen. Yes, I, I did know this. bury that body so it does not continue to become gross. Lovely. It's this little fence, so maybe oh my gosh, I'm maybe Okay, so now our graveyard is at negative ten, which is already Quite a ways better than it was when I first got it. 
Can you chop down these trees yet? Well, I don't think any of these contribute negatively to my graveyard anymore. Otherwise they'd have a little pop-up on them that say so. Yeah, we are we are moving up in the world. Things are looking good, things are looking bright. take stock of where we are, what we've got, and what we have to do. It is the Inquisitor's Day, is it? I don't know. Hold on. I have to check whose day it is today. Oh, no, it's the Merchant's Day. Okay. I don't... Have anything for the merchant right now and I don't think I don't think I will for a little bit longer like until I, until I get a little bit more progression I need to go take a little nap because both my health and energy are a little low oh there's my iron I can't okay I cannot in fact use for this, I have to use. Well, let me make a let me make a little grave marker real quick. I have to use specifically firewood. Do I know how to make that? No, I don't. So I'll have to make a chopping block for that purpose. I'm like all over the place. I just said I'd take a nap, and here I am not doing that. boy point for our graveyard. Tree in the top right of the cemetery it looks like spooky time. Let's see, top right. Oh yeah, he's he's okay. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with the tree. It's repairable. Maybe. I feel like that should be a path up. to our bed. Things that I would like to do in the real life. We can get that energy and that health back. I'm so refreshed. Oh, you're back! <laughs> It's so much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though, so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is, is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place when it's full of red. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. You better take a good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Haboo. human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets its red and white from its body parts. You can change a corpse's red and whites by removing organs and embalming. Forfeiture. Or 
commercial use contract the tavern owner for an object. Oh my god, it's not I'm gonna leave, not read it again. Now what what is my goal at this point in time? Well, I guess now that I can make simple parts. I might want to start excavating my my cellar. That's the word. And just go see what exactly I need from there. Maybe, maybe first I will get some of that for this. Um, how do I make sticks? <laughs> Collect sticks from dry brushes. Confucius. So got those around here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Want to refuel. Refuel my furnace. Get some more. Get some more iron going. Personally. Just give me sticks. No, just nature points. I cannot make these things yet. Search for wooden sticks. I need them to fuel my brush. It's getting it's a little foggy. Can't really see nothing. How many points do I need for this? Or firewood? Ten. Okay, I only need two more. I can just break open some rocks and we'll get that in no time. Done it. We can now make firewood. I really, I really don't know enough about this game to min-max or anything, so I'm really just kind of making things on a need-to-craft basis, learning how to make everything just kind of as I need it. Oh, I need some wood billets to do that. spot. I'll put that there. Put it over here maybe. What do I need for you? Okay. And so that is how I make both firewood and the little uh, wood wedges. cellar. I need. There goes snake. Goodbye. I need wedges. I need planks. Okay, so I need a carpenter's workbench slash circular saw. Ooh, okay, so we're not ready to do that quite yet. Can we do this one though? No. <laughs> it requires the same stuff. So how far away are we? some stuff to make, some stuff to craft. We'll figure it out. We'll get there.
Okay. Make literally anything else. Also gives me one. Any more iron parts? So we're just gonna need some of those. Oh, I don't have enough energy. I need to remember what in this game gets me more. More points. Like, what can I craft that gets me the most points? That I just kind of do to more efficiently get all these points up so I can get all these talents that I need. My technology trees. So, we can't do anything in the crematorium yet. Rather curious, because I know. Actually, hold on. I can clear out the little. the morgue shoot probably, with the stuff that's available to me now. Oh yeah, I can, I can actually do that with stuff I have in my bag right now. I don't have enough energy. Alright, so now whenever the donkey brings me a corpse, I'm just gonna slide down this chute right here. <laughs> Saw. Okay. Two hundred points. Okay, so that's that's not till way later. We'll get there one day. Oh, don't use it. Corpse time yet or what? Oh, <laughs> there. Yeah, there he is. Uh -huh. What a bun. I was just talking about you like half a second ago. Give me the body. Give me the fresh meat. Please. Oh, and see there. <laughs> it has gone directly down the chute. And we will see. Oh my god. I shall take the blood. I Locked it again. Let's try one more time. <laughs> okay, that time I did okay. Oh, um, no, I didn't do okay. I also messed that one up. Huzzah. <laughs> oh, we tried it. I need to get good at doctoring. spots like this and then we'll save all the rest for anything we might need in the future. Let's dig a hole. Let's hold my soul gravestone on that so it's not a negative counter at least. bodies that I probably want to take out of here at my earliest convenience. I do not have the exhumation records yet for such a lad. But I do have two burial certificates that I can go trade in for some money. And so it is almost almost the day of the Inquisitor, which means I can go actually talk to him, since I just kind of didn't last time. And so I was like, nah, no, 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 I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. I'm gonna do my own thing, as it were. I need some more iron parts. I'm gonna do that. Also, maybe we need some wood wedges. Some more food. Maybe 
pretty soon. Food can I make that's just like actively available to me? I don't have I don't have jelly because I haven't eaten too many slimes recently. slimes up here that I can just kind of beat up for lunch money. Please. Hello, slimes. I'm in your home. Like a, it's like a, I clear them out once and they're gone forever kind of deal. I would very much like more slimes so I can continue making slime jelly. Life is cruel. Maybe I need a technology. Just trying to look at everything. Must have locked onto the wrong thing. I'm just trying to pick my little edible mushrooms. Have a little nice meal for myself. Is there really so much to ask? Trying to cook myself a feast. Because having food is. Oh my god, it's so convenient. Ah, Jerry! The Inquisitor! I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby coming up the path to Witch Hill. We've already had this conversation, Jerry. I just didn't want to do it last week. Okay, I might as well go now so I don't forget because it's going to take me a minute to cook everything. gonna ask me for all this stuff that I just don't have access to right now. Alright, here we go. Meet, meet. Hello, Inquisitor. Oh, 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 oh. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good. Are there any problems? No, Monsignor, except there was a strange fella snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt! Calm down, I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys? Why, he's a cultist for certain, Monsignor. Where's the keeper of the local graveyard? You can ask any of the villagers about it. And you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at the witch burning ceremony? It would be my honor. How did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Project. Oh, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something. And I'll find out what. Here I am. The Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in mankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded. There's a new one stuck in the shipyard. My graveyard is opening at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises within my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years. And it's only the beginning. Burn the witch! Burn! Light the fire. Yes, Monsignor. Long live the Great Inquisitor! Hurrah! Hurrah! I love lighting people on fire. You work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? No, I think it's part of my job. 
Someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't even go to church and even refuse to lay in their graves after death. If you're new here, you might notice something unusual. Sure, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend. Wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and be a friend of the Inquisition, you'll have to show your goodwill. Minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is the day of wrath. Another day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next wrath day. Or any other wrath day. I like to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Yeah, he's definitely he's he's completely fine. He's a good guy. So he wants me to come back here again next week. Yeah, I thought he would actually give me a task this week. No, it's just to come back later. <laughs> Maybe he's just checking to see if I'll actually show up. I might not, but that's beside the point. Can you the loose, please? Can't mind any of this stuff yet. Ooh. See, this is this is the funky little portal here. I sure did enjoy watching that witch get burned, huh? Didn't you? Uh -huh. Fellow, fellow guy. Fellow villageur. So let us get back to our little quest. Uh, okay, I, I have not yet left the witch hill. It's a longer path than I thought it was. Anyway, let's get back to our quest some mushrooms. <laughs> I I need food. Oh, you're here. Okay, we had some more mushrooms respawn. Perfect. We need those. We might as well take the berries too. I I do need those. I will be hungry. My bag is full. Right, well, I'll have to come back for you, buds. going to cook. I actually do want to pick up those berries before I actually go back into my house. Or else I will just forget. I absolutely will just forget. And I don't I don't actually know if things despawn or if they just sit there forever. It makes sense for them to despawn, but I don't actually know for sure with these games. Exactly enough mushrooms to make three servings of baked mushies. You know, while those cook, might as well go to sleep, get my health back, get my energy back. And when I wake up, there will be some arguably fresh mushroom skewers waiting for me. Go for the for the 
insects, but I don't have blue points yet, and I can't really unlock those yet. At least not until I start doing, like, church stuff. better at butchering bodies either until I also get faith points. the early game where I'm just starved of all my precious resources. Yeah, I think I think the woodworking is what I'm gonna try and do next. Oh, there we right now. Okay. Just had to make sure because frankly you never really know. Ooh, how do I make repair kits? That's actually a really good question. Okay, stone repair kit, I can make it stone cutter. Beautiful. Can I make wood repair kits? No. Okay, so I need... I actually do need the woodworking perk to make the wood repair kits. So that should actually be next on my radar. But I can make stone repair kits, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Do a stone cutter. Can I make a stone cutter? I need nails for the stone cutter. Alright. Fuck. Perfect. Alright, stone cutter. Can't put it there. Oh, the inefficiency of space is killing me now. should have planned out better is just the layout of my everything. Oh, I need clay. Oh my god. Life is so difficult. How do I unlock clay? I'm pretty sure... Does it say maybe approximately where I can get clay from? No. I'm at least reasonably sure that I can get clay. I'm supposed to get clay from these little spots down here. Maybe. Yeah, like this over here. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm supposed to get clay from, but I don't... I don't have access to that at the moment. Which has now made my life supremely difficult. And dare I say, this is even a move that could be considered homophobic. Just given the situation. A very controversial thing for me to say. But I fully believe it. Oh, maybe, maybe I will explore this way and see how, how much stuff I need to fix this bridge. How's that? Again, I need planks. I cannot make planks yet. Wait, is that frog? Frog ribbits. That is all. Thank you. Anyway, that just kind of like crushed my dreams real quick. But I think. I think I can make. 
not just the grave stones, but also the... points to go get it so let's just slap some rocks or something I have everything else. We love to see it. Alright. I literally don't have space for it. <laughs> ah. I can't I can't move things either. I have to like actually get rid of is so difficult. Hold up, hold up. Okay, so... I can remove... Okay, the sawhorse I can just, like, put over here or something. So I can just get rid of it. And the wooden anvil I can, like, recraft over here. so upset if I get rid of these and I <laughs> can't even put it here. Oh, I got metal scraps. I got some other yummy things. Carpenter's workbench. Oh, it's a perfect fit. Okay, great. Um, oh, I <laughs> don't have enough food in my bag to pick up those that dropped. Look, here I am. Oh, ho, ho. I can make wooden planks. That's fantastic. That's perfect. Alright. All is all is well, all is restored. I no longer have to yell. I no longer have to weep. make wooden grave fence, we can make wooden crosses. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make some grave fences because I do need at least some of those. We'll make at least one. We'll make one at the moment. We will see. We'll see which engrave is most deserving. There are some graves that this will be good for, so there will be some graves that it does absolutely nothing for. This is one that will something. And now, boom. We are at negative eight graveyard quality. Which is quite a step up from where we started. Alright. You know what? I think that is going to be where we end off our little gaming experience for today. So it is already a little bit over my time that I usually like to stop. And I hope I hope you enjoyed this whole Graveyard Keeper game experience with me. I love this game. I just think it's very silly and the little gray morality is a good time. Zippy! so much for joining me everybody and I'm gonna I'm, I'm not tired I don't want to sleep 
Yeah, it couldn't be me. Anyway, um, so we're we're just gonna pop out real quick. We're gonna see if anybody I know is streaming at the moment. We're going to see if we can raid somebody. Ooh. Yeah, no one, no one I know actually is streaming right now. So unfortunately, we're just gonna kind of have to call it. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. My next stream is going to be Tuesday. I'm going to be making more bird art. I'm going to be doing some, uh, be doing some art, going to be doing some writing. All of my world anvil. So yes, I hope, I hope to see some of you guys there. I hope you tune in. Yeah. Thanks so much for popping in, everybody. Thank you for the watchers. Thank you for the sippies. Thank you for the raid and all the follows. I will see you guys another time. Toodles!